Hey, you guys, welcome back to FedBiz Exchange. I'm Michelle Brown, your coach and your mentor. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that I see in the comments section often. And I know it's a lot to government contracting, but this answer is very simple. So I'm going to answer this question. And the question is, I'm registered in SAM. Now what? What do I do once I'm approved and registered? So let's get into it. But before we do, don't forget, you know what I'm going to say, hit that subscribe button. And also don't forget you have Ask Michelle B if you have any questions about business or government contracting. So what do you do once you're registered in SAM? The answer is very simple. You start finding contracts to bid. It's just that simple. There are only a few things you're going to do over and over and over again to start winning millions in government contracts. And that is once you're registered, find contracts and start bidding. So for those of you that don't know, you haven't been with me that long, or there's so many videos out there, you can't find the answer. You go to sam.gov, fedconnect.net, or DIBS, which is Defense Logistics Agency. This is where you're going to find all of your federal contracts. Now, if you don't know how to search, I'm going to leave a video in the comment section for you to learn how to search each one of these websites. So once you start finding opportunities, you start bidding. I know some of you don't know how to bid, but you need to learn how. If you don't bid, you will never win. Nobody's going to come and get you, even though the system is set up for contracting officers to find you. But that's not usually how you get started. You should not sit there and wait. Every time you find an opportunity that you like for your company, bid on it, even if you don't totally know what you're doing. It's as simple as this. You cannot win if you do not bid. It's just that simple. You need to find opportunities and bid often. The businesses that are winning multi-million dollar contracts consistently, they do exactly what I'm telling you to do. Do they have a learning curve? Of course they do. You will too. But you can't get there if you don't start and you don't try. You need to find the opportunity and bid. Find another one and bid. That's the way it works. That's how you win. Every time you bid, you become a priority in the contracting officer's eyes. They're trying to buy something. You're trying to sell them something. But you're not just trying to sell them something. You're trying to sell them specifically what they're trying to buy. That's how it works. It's that simple. And what if you don't find enough opportunities? Guess what? If you don't, you didn't do a good job with your due diligence and your research. Or maybe you did no research at all. So I will put those video links in the comments section as well. How to find your buyers. What if you don't know what your niche is? Then you definitely need to do some research with how to find your buyers, how to consider different categories. If you're not finding enough opportunities, you need to go back and start all over with your research. If you've been with me for a little while, you know, I'm always telling you, if you don't do your due diligence, you don't do your research, you are not going to win millions in government contracts. 